one of our first videos on the channel was uh, talking about, you know, Willison and Ben, mm. ben Takura uh, when he made his debut earlier in the season. Uh, the Tigers had their own big boy. I know you know, you know like a big boy, Adam, eh? <laughs> Jordan Miller, he's a big love, boy. Love some, love some big bodies. I think this is where... I feel like this is where the game is heading. I think if you can get a couple of those different body shapes, um, it gives a different target level for defensive tackles, you know what I mean? So if you have a couple of tall guys, you have some little uh, Mofotuika size guys, you know, they, it, it actually makes the decision defensively a lot harder to read on these guys. So you tackle those those big boys low, they're going to get offloads every time. Xavier Willison, we've seen what he did with the Broncos and made that massive ass break and legs tackle, could have got the ball away, didn't, or he did and then knocked it on. But they are a big part of where the game is going now. If, as long as they can move laterally well, um, then, then they're going to keep um, playing in the game. And I've seen some big kids... Um, Lately, some 17, 18 year olds that are much of the same size as those those boys, and man, they're going to be the new thing I think when it comes to the game. Yeah, well, he he's just come in. Obviously, first game he played 19 minutes. He's the heaviest player in the NRL now. It, 131, 131 kilos. 131 kg. That, that, that is that is big. He he may need to drop that down yeah. a little bit. Um, the only other person that I know that can carry that weight really well, I don't think he's 131, is Adam Fanor Blake. But we know he's, what he can do. Um, so they've just got I most probably it's understanding what works for him as a player and what's going to be the best playing way to get him at so that he can still have the impact that he has still be fast but can move laterally because 131 kilos is a lot of lot of weight to be moving sideways consistently in, in the game of rugby league seven more kgs than the second heaviest in the NRL which is Wurumu Greg for the Eels and then after that everyone's like the they're all touching in the same way. So he's yeah. a lot at the top. That's why I had to bring him up because I know you like the big boys. Yeah, I think they're, like, they're the way to go. <laughs> yeah, there's some uh, big freaks at the moment. Payne Haas is probably the standout. Mm. Someone who's massive in stature and size but can run fast and, and run for a long yeah. time mm. Yeah, and move. We're just getting more and more of that. He's he set the standard Almost saying it's okay to be this way. Yep. This is this is where you have to be now. Well, him and Adam, I reckon, together yeah. have gone, hey, they're, they're showing everyone that you can still be this way, but this is the standard that you have to be at. Yep. So when you're selecting and you're looking and IDing talent, yes, you can have this big guy, but if they can't move well on the field, there's no point in doing anything with no. them. But those guys, yeah, Payne Haas and, and Adam, have, have set the standard for front rowers and been able to carry their weight well. Crazy to think that there's more and more of those types of athletes coming through. 